Okay, so let's say you wanted to license a software and you've picked up the UBOT Locker system either from Meter or the authorized retailer being Maxed or on the forums. My UBOT Locker Ultimate is the web based files that overwrite and add more functionality for you to your licensing system. But some of you may want to take a look at how is exactly you license a software. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. And I'm just going to go to a testing environment that I have. And I'll log in. And I will go over to Manage Products or Projects and click on Add Project from the left here. And it's going to ask me for a name. Now this is going to be the name that you use in either the item name or product name on different e-commerce sites. Warrior Plus, JVZoo, your PayPal item name, um, or the dis item name inside of a WordPress plugin or WooCommerce or what have you. That's what you put here. So we're going to say software product. And you're given a secret key here. Copy that. And then we're going to open up the UBOT Locker system. And this program is what's given to you to wrap your software. So as we see, it's just got this standard EXE in here right now. And we're going to put the exact same name here as the project name. So we're going to go software, product. And we're going to go ahead and put the secret key in and the URL to this file. So for instance, I'm going to grab my testing URL here. And in the software, I'll paste that and type in verify license.php verify there we go now I'm going to say version 1 and now I select the executable that I want to secure so let me go to my test folder select the file and click generate it tells me it's been saved now I'll ship the locked one with both these two DLL files and I can save this so I can recall it later and I'm going to just call it uh, UBOT Locker Settings. So later I can go ahead and load it just by double clicking it and load it on in here. Once you've done that you get this DLL, this one, and a locked file. All you have to do is put them into a folder and zip them up. Okay. Let me go ahead and talk about this here. So the update URL is going to be what it downloads if you change the version number. So for instance, I'll wrap these as archive updates.zip. And wherever I upload this to, the exact URL I'm going to put right here so that it goes ahead and downloads that and overwrites the two DLL files in the EXE when an update is called for. When people open a software, it's going to check the version number. The download URL here is going to be for the main package, which you might include a data folder or other files or what have you. You just package these two DLLs and the locked file into a folder and zip and everything else that you want to include with it. Just put it all together, zip it up, and that's what you put for the download URL. Let me go ahead and submit this, and what I will do then is add a license for it. So underneath licenses, which can be fully automated with the IPN services that are available, I'm going to just put in test, test at Botguru for software product, and this is a license key. It's active, enabled, it's not a trial. If it was a trial, we can set the number of days and, or however many times we allow it to be ran. Ran is however many times it's opened. Okay, so when a trial ends, what do we do? Disable, no updates, or delete license, but we're not marking this as a trial. 
number of allowed resets, and add license. So now that that's in there, all we got to do here, for instance, if you had a folder, locked software, and we had these inside that folder, and we zipped that folder and delivered it to our customer, all they would have to do is run that file and up pops asking them for their email and license key which was in the system. So do test at bakuru.net and we'll put in the license key and hit submit. Saves the license file here so it doesn't ask them again and it says there's an error while connecting to the license server. Now I did this on specific because I wanted to show you something. When you're creating your locked file, and let me load this here, do not use an HTTPS link. Remove the S, give it just the standard link here as HTTP. Okay, so let's generate that. Save. Close it. And now we've got our new ones. I'm going to drop those down into updates and also drop them into the folder up there. So now, when it runs, I didn't overwrite it properly. You'll notice here I didn't spell this correctly here for verify license. Let me just verify everything's correct. There we go. And if that license file is deleted, they'd be prompted. We put in their information. And grab my license key here and submit. So in a second we'll see it pop up here on the screen with that software. There we go. And it pulls up the license software. So let's say they entered in the wrong license details. Okay. Let me just delete that file delete up pops and we'll do test 2 at blocker.net any license keys hit submit saves license file and then it tells them invalid license license not found so that's how the locker system works um, you do have to have like I said the standard from meter or the unleashed version from Maxter to use the upgraded files that I have produced uh, which give you all the additional settings uh, your site settings um, bundles staffing all those things you can get all those things added into your system um, just by upgrading to this if you happen to have any questions, please let me know, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.